Challenges we face with high and rising water. Um, biggest one, right? Often it's muddies up the water, right? That's the first thing. Our water uh, condition is going to become unstable. Things are going to be go going from clear to off-colored. Um, and the, the, the amount of off-color is really going to determine what we're going to do and how we're going to handle this situation. But that's a big challenge. We've got to overcome that one. Cold water. Now, uh, like I say, we've had some warm rains coming up from the Gulf. And warm, muddy water, a little bit easier to manage than cold, muddy water. Um, and that's, you know, what we had that Richland Chamber. So when the water temperature's dropping and the water color's getting mud, it's forced to be reckoned with. Um, and it moves bass and bait. It moves them around. It's going to it's gonna push them, you know, they, they could be in certain areas, and, uh, but that extra current and that off-colored water is going to just, it's just going to move them, uh, which is going to give us um, fits, right? It's going to cause us a lot of trouble. It's not all bad, right? When it's flooding and it's raining, it's not all bad. There's, we got to learn about the benefits. Extra current. We, I talked about current earlier and how important it was to trigger those strikes out on the ledges when, when they open up the generators and they let a, a little extra current through, it really activates the fish. That's what's going to happen here, right? When we get extra rain, they've got to push it through. It's going to create current. A lot of times in places it'll be too much current, right? So we've got to figure out, you know, places where, we, where it's helping the bite where it's creating feeding opportunities for the predators like bass. And not the ones like we saw in the first slide where it's just you know, running rapids and just blowing everything out, right? So it's, it's, going to be a li it's going to be current, more current, but not so much that it's going to move bait around. And we got to pay attention to what our temperature is. Is this a cold front or is this a warm front? Huge difference. And we've got to adjust differently to each one. But if it's a benefit, it's often a benefit when warm rain comes because it's gonna bring warm current. It's gonna bring uh, really a lot of positive fishing conditions. So we wanna pay, we gotta pay attention to those fronts. What is that, you know, is that cooling the lake or is it warming it up? Vibrating jigs, a, amazing off-colored water tool, muddy water situation. Uh, it's a tremendous little tool. I am so bad about stuff like this and I hope, I. I I want to inspire you guys to be better than me. This bait is uh, kind of weird looking, right? It's a jig with no weed guard, and it's got this stupid little metal lip on the front of it. I had a, a guy put this in the boat with me, uh, outdoor rider, and I left it in my boat for about two years before I, before I would throw it. I didn't want to hurt his feelings. I was like, oh yeah, that looks awesome. I just put it away, and I figured I'd never throw it. And then I. Uh, I, I, Brian Thrift won a couple tournaments with it. And I picked it up and I made a few casts with it and I threw it back in the boat. I thought, well, maybe it's a Florida thing because that's where he won the tournaments in. I got a kid in, the, in my boat, won a tournament as my co-angler and he, he started jacking them on this bait. And I'm, I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. So I took them out. I caught 50 bass that day. I still didn't think, it, I, I thought it was still too quirky. So. Now, I never take it off my deck, <laughs> right? So I did the same thing with the Senko. <laughs> I left that sitting in my boat before I threw it for a couple years. Um, you know, so I try to have an open mind on these lures, these techniques, but this is a killer. This is a killer in, in clear water, but it's a, it's a killer in stain. It's got a lot of noise, a lot of vibration. The fish can find it. It's gonna be one of the things that I go to. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fish spinner baits, but I'm gonna swap out my willow blades. Bass University TV, an online video training course where you'll learn champion bass fishing techniques from pro anglers Pete Gluzek, Mike Iaconelli, and their talented special guests. Watch hours of video content on multiple topics at your own pace for a low monthly fee. Cancel at any time. Subscribe today.